everyone. Today I decided we're gonna make some Christmas nut roll. This is an European nut roll and um, it's almost like a bread, a sweet bread with a lot of sugar on top without a cinnamon. You can feel free to add the cinnamon um, if you think that's a good idea and it's totally your taste. We're gonna start with uh, one kilogram of flour white baking flour uh, not the bread kind you want a flour that's more like a pastry flour uh, because you want it light um, this is a secret of uh, getting very good uh, nut rolls and uh, you're gonna start with uh, putting your tear to zero because this uh, a bowl of mine is very heavy and I'm gonna add flour to the point where I'm gonna have one kilogram. 1,000 grams uh, makes a kilogram. I have 989 grams of flour. I will have to add uh, a little bit more flour, but that's gonna be doing it for right now. I'm gonna present you the ingredients and then we'll go from there. You will need milk. I cannot tell you exactly how much. Be prepared to have 500 mils because you will have to fill the dough. The dough needs to be uh, a little bit more consistent than for um, muffins, um, stronger and a little bit less than bread, kind of like a bread consistency. You will need a full cup of sugar. This recipe calls for cups, not grams. So this is a teacup of sugar, a regular cup, a morning coffee cup. You will need five egg yolks. I already separated the eggs. You might use the egg whites to um, beat up with uh, fluffy, being fluffy with some sugar. And you're gonna incorporate the nuts inside or the um, whatever you want to put in there, raisins, uh, sour cherries, dried up, whatever you want to fill it with. If you don't like nuts, it's totally acceptable. You will need vanilla and then you will need a cup of oil, which is gonna be added at the end. Uh, everything needs to be warm, um, not hot, because it's gonna destroy the uh, rising agent in the east. So just warm, uh, warm temperature, room temperature uh, for everything. And if you can um, melt the sugar before with, with the milk, it's gonna be better for the um, natural to rise and the sugar to be already incorporated. You don't have to wait a lot for the sugar to to dissolve and be absorbed in the dough so let's go from here and uh, i'm gonna just go to the, my other station now i'm gonna combine the milk with the sugar and uh, on the stove i'm gonna make them to a point where it's gonna be lukewarm not very hot not cold just enough to activate the yeast i don't know if i mentioned but you might you need definitely not might you need two tablespoons of uh, yeast, regular dry yeast or fresh yeast, whatever you choose, it's okay. I forgot to mention uh, before we start the process of making, we have to prepare the yeast because you want the yeast agent to get activated before you put in the flour. You want to make sure the yeast is good and it has a, a raising agent. Um, for that purposes, I warmed up in a small bowl, um, just maybe one ounce of milk. I'm going to add two tablespoons of, uh, yeast. And one tablespoon of sugar, because sugar, as you know, it's gonna uh, feed the yeast um, for the yeast to start her process. Okay, this was my uh, 
first step. So right now I'm gonna go to my station where I'm gonna melt a little bit the sugar. This is the cup of sugar that I was talking about. You're gonna add it in a pan and um, you can uh, add milk. Not the whole amount because uh, you want to make sure that uh, you have enough and you're gonna stir it well until uh, the sugar is kind of like dissolved. You don't have to have it totally dissolved, but it's gonna help you um, and it's gonna make a better uh, nut. Make sure that you don't heat the milk because then you will have to cool it down. Nothing needs to be uh, more than uh, warm. starting process what I forgot is we have to add a pinch of salt in um, the nut roll I think salt it's important in every recipe that you make not a lot just a pinch because uh, you want to have a natural taste not only the sugar uh, but saltiness too not salty just a hint I'm gonna add maybe just just a little bit. My uh, salt is very slow pace, so uh, just because I uh, put a, put a lot of rotation doesn't mean that I put a lot of salt. So let's start. I want you to see how my yeast was raising. Uh, it's already starting to activate. It's puffy. Uh, you can see it. It has. A, it's alive. I'm gonna start with the yeast. I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna get the whole entire yeast um, because uh, you need the raising agent for this type of nut roll. This is not gonna be doable with uh, baking powder or baking soda or any other type of uh, raising agent, but yeast. I wanted to show you how the uh, yeast, it's um, raising, um, makes bubbles. So that means it's, uh, it's an active one. Now we're gonna just add one by one the eggs. I forgot to mention in the beginning, but it's it's fairly important lemon lemon zest it's it's good it's a good addition to a nut roll um gives a little bit of flavor i will add up to five right now i was running out of lemons uh i had three but they were soft so it didn't give me a lot of zest and i'm I'm apologizing for my lack of uh, continuity in my videos. I'm new to this. I promise I'm gonna get better uh, with time. But uh, the recipes are very uh, good. And uh, if you try them, I'm sure you're gonna have good results. Right now, I'm gonna add the milk with the sugar. Remember that we melted in, on the stove for the sh to help the sugar dissolve a little bit better. So we're simply gonna add it to the flour. We'll try to get all of it. For the ingredients part where I'm gonna post them, I'm gonna try to um, measure the sugar and to give you an exact amount of sugar. Then add the lemon zest. Vanilla extract, a lot. Everything is about flavor. So don't feel free, don't feel shy to add the uh, flavor in this uh, nut roll. And then we're gonna add the five egg yolks. We're gonna keep the oil at the end because we want to um, make this mixture smooth and the oil is gonna help us um, take it to the level where it's not gonna be sticking. 
we have this milk um we almost had 500 mils in here we used some in the sugar and this we're gonna have left over just in case we need to put some more moisture in our um flour so i added all the ingredients but the oil let me show you this is how it looks we have there the eggs um the yeast and the milk with the sugar and uh, now i'm ready to incorporate them actually i'm gonna put my hand in there and i'm gonna just have a filling of this dough this is the hard process incorporating the ingredients and make sure that you reach the right consistency i think this is important in a good nut roll uh when you spread it you want it to be well raised um definitely more than uh double in the in the amount of dough that you initially had and i already have to add some milk because the dough is dry and um probably the whole milk that i have and i might need to bring some more this is uh, how the dough looks for now uh, you can see I still have some flour in there uh, that needs to be incorporated, which is going to ask for more milk. I added a little bit more milk and I'm going to continue to mix. Oops. I added the milk and now I think my um, dough has the right consistency and asks for the oil which i have it here and i'm gonna just add it as you notice i add everything at once i do not uh, add it in in portions now the process of mixing you need to do it slower because you don't want to splash the oil the oil is very hard to incorporate it's gonna stay on the side of the dish for a little bit in, or, it, until you're gonna work it out in the dough. All the time when my grandmother was making these for holidays, um, I remember that she used to like knead these for at least one hour with her own hands. And she will not make only from one kilogram of flour. She will make probably from five to seven kilograms of flour uh, because she would like to give away these as a present for uh, for Christmas which I think it's 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 a very nice present um, due to the fact that these nut rolls are very uh, time consuming you will need probably at least three hours to attend these by the time they're gonna raise and you're gonna add a nut inside and you're gonna roll it then you have to put it in a pan and you have to let it rise again prove um i've learned at a great british baking show that the process is called proving um and i'm using the same word right now um right now in this time we're using the the new technology the KitchenAid mixer which is absolutely a great addition to any kitchen um, in the world especially to somebody who wants to bake or um, make nut rolls or make bread or um, just be a baker um, that's easier than uh, whisk it by hand and um right now i'm gonna show you how the dough is looking i'm gonna i'm gonna try to switch the camera again because i have one clean hand i like to be using one clean hand and one a messy hand so i can if i need to add something or if i need to um look for something i don't have to be uh putting dirt all over the place this is how my dough is looking right now 
uh, is not very well mixed. You can see the consistency, it's soft. It's not runny, but it's on the soft side. And um, when it's gonna be mixed in the mixer, um, it's gonna start um, getting more smoother and um, it's gonna look a lot nicer. So right now I'm gonna take it to the station where I have this uh, KitchenAid and it's gonna mix for about 10 minutes on speed four to six. You don't need to do it on a maximum speed. You will, you will see when it's ready because the dough is not gonna be sticking to the sides of the, of the pan. This is how the dough is gonna look after 10 minutes of uh, mixture. It's gonna be soft, very uh, well homogenized. and ready to rise. You will have to let it rise in, at least until it's up to here. So double in size. See, like the dough doesn't stick to the sides of the, of the pot that's telling us that it's well mixed. After an hour, my dough looks like this. It doubled in size. And I already set up my uh, baking trays to set the natural after i put the nuts and uh, turkish delight in there everything gets optional you can add anything that you want to this is my working table with two trays which i oiled well for the dough not to stick i have here the mixture of nuts with egg whites which i fluffed out and uh, this is the turkish delight that I'm gonna add in the mixture. This is how much dough I obtain after one hour of um, proofing. I'm gonna separate in two equal parts and then I'm gonna spread in my working table, on my working table, and I'm gonna add Turkish Delight and uh, nuts. And then I will roll it over. After you spread the dough, I use my hand. I do not use a rolling pin. Uh, because I don't want to reverse the process of raising of the dough. Um, and I have everything together close by because this is a very fast process and we want to be very efficient. I'm going to get my nuts that I already pre-mixed with the egg whites that I fluffed. And I add nuts in the middle. I spread them apart. In the nuts, you, you can add uh, all kinds of essences that you want. Almond, or rum, or the alcohol rum, or, I don't know, vanilla. Um, maybe you can try with Nutella. Uh, sometimes try new things, it's a good thing. Sometimes Nutella, it's, uh, it's creating a lot of heat in there and uh, the baking is a little bit slower. Uh, on one of my nut rolls, I'm gonna I'm gonna add um, Turkish delight because I like it. It's not necessarily that you have to add it. You can add uh, raisins. You can add dried cherries. You can add um, I don't know how I said Nutella. Anything that you think your kids will love to eat uh, or your guests will enjoy and will. Uh, tell you, wow, this was a very good addition to this nut roll. Um, I didn't mention cinnamon. This is not a cinnamon roll for me. Cinnamon doesn't go with nut roll, but for you, it might, so you can try. After you spread everything pretty evenly, you're gonna start from one side, you're gonna roll pretty tight. You don't have something to grab out of so you're going to use your hands and you're going to try to roll as it will be on a uh, piece of uh, cloth or something and uh, you grab it from the sides you lift it gently and you place it in your plate that's why i said you should have everything close by because it's very imperative 
for the natural to keep its shape and um, to work fast. And now I have the second uh, piece of dough. I'm going to take out a little bit because I want to make some donuts out of it. My son actually loves donuts. And uh, every time I'm making bread or nut roll, he's like, Mom, you didn't make any donuts? Just two or three. Um, it's going to make him happy. And uh, like any mom, you want your kids to be happy. Uh, I'm using my hands. I am spreading the dough, how I said with the previous one. I forgot to take this apart, so I'm going to take this apart. This will need to rise a little bit more. I'm taking another pan that I'm having ready. I spread the left of the nut roll, of the nuts, with uh, the mixture, nuts and eggs. At this point, I have none. And with this one, I'm not going to add the uh, Turkish Delight because I uh, prepared the Turkish Delight only for one. Again, because my son doesn't like Tur Turkish Delight in my uh, novel. I do not blame him because when I was little, I was always preferring the and my uh, stove is telling me that uh, it reached the temperature. Uh, you have to bake these at 365 for about 50 minutes. Um, and you have to watch them just because uh, you don't want you don't want them over baked or under baked. This is how my nut rolls look. Uh, they are already fluffy because I didn't press the dough when I was uh, rolling it or spread it around. Um, so the process of uh, raising, proving after I place them in, in the pan is going to be shorter. Um, we like to add uh, sugar on top of the nut rolls. It's going to make a caramelization and it's going to taste awesome. If you want to make them authentic, don't add anything else. If you like to make them according to your taste, you can put cinnamon sugar or um, I don't know what else of suggestion I can give you. Um, but anything that you add is going to be wonderful. I add a good amount of sugar because we like this caramel sugar on top of the cake, the nut roll. It's still a cake, um, a breakfast, wonderful delight with coffee or simply for the dessert. Now we're going to wait for the oven to reach 360. Uh, right now it's 160 and uh, we're gonna place some in the oven for about 50 minutes up to an hour and um, I'm gonna show you the final results when it's gonna be done. Because they have sugar in the dough, the donuts are dark color. And it's good to take them out on a piece of um, paper that's gonna absorb a little bit of the heat, of the, not heat, of the fat that it was into. Them. Now the nut roll is in the oven. We're gonna wait for 15 minutes and they're gonna be ready to take out. Uh, right now I have 45 minutes and going. I'll let you know as soon as I take them out, how they're gonna look and uh, we have to let them cool for half an hour before I can cut into them. This is how nut roll looks 30 minutes in the bake. They're gonna need another 30 and probably they will be done. I'm gonna check before that just to make sure they are not gonna be overbaked. 
beautiful naturals. One is overwhelming and one is just the right size. I think I could have made three, but now two will do. Enjoy all these.